Larry here. I'm going to explain uh, for some of my friends out here that play guitar that might not be familiar with the partial capo what you're missing. You might want to mess around with it a little bit. The partial capo or shove, this one's made out of brass, uh, has a, it will cover three strings so from the, the top here it will cover the fifth, fourth, and third string and coming in from the lower it will cover the second, third, and fourth string, the E and the A position. So those of you familiar with your basic rock, basic blues, pinching, bending the knuckle here and covering those three strings, it leaves you a number of fingers free. Okay, you're familiar with that kind of thing. You snap one of these partials on there, replacing the need for this finger to be committed and hung up to that fret. Now you're free to explore the whole fretboard. That's pretty cool, okay? And instead of full chords, you can play one finger. the partial gives you some nice possibilities okay now you take a full capo I like the G7 it has got gears and ratchets in here they come down pretty strong simply by slapping it on the first fret you basically are taking this finger now that you would do in a bar chord but putting it there and now you have F <laughs> F played up here, way above the capos. This is a U2 song that I do when I play up. That's nice. With or without you. I like exploring F7, which I think makes a really nice blues fret fretting from my voice. And then you can add a slide to it. a lot of possibilities which is cool if you used to play in bands and you know it is we get older and move and whatever and you wish you had your bandmates around this just gives you a nice nice option So hopefully that inspires you a little bit. Um, I've gone uh, a little, quite a ways distance playing music and rewriting my music, fitting around this style and finger style. Um, you'll have a lot of fun with it. Play with it. Don't be afraid of it. Um, Seventeen bucks. You can uh, play with a, a regular Kaiser, you know, Kaiser Capo, which most of you are familiar with. They're cheaper. These are about twenty bucks. <laughs> 
problem with these is, is if you play a lot of blues, sorry for that bad note and there wasn't thinking. problem with a Kaiser is that you can bend your notes and your guitar will go out of tune. Nice thing about a G7, it's a little more expensive, it's about $48, $49. When you ratchet it down, it becomes like the nut for you. And uh, you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to go out of tune for you quite as easy, so play with that. Check it out. Have fun with it. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Peace.